Hello everyone and welcome back to online spoken English class. In this module we shall learn about nouns gender. Let us listen to this conversation between Gauri and Karthik. Hey Karthik. Hi Gauri. How are you? It's been so long since we've met. I am good. If I am not wrong, we are meeting after 10 years. Yes. Come let's go to the cafeteria and catch up over a cup of coffee. Sure. What do you do, Karthik? I am a banker. That's nice. Gauri, do you remember Ayush, the tallest boy in our class? Of course I do. We work in the same office. Oh, that's interesting. And what do you do? Me? I am a media person. That's good. And where are you based? I'm based in Delhi. I would like to meet Ayush too. Sure, he would love to. Then how about next Sunday? It suits me. I check with Ayush. Let's try to meet on Sunday. See you then. Okay. Then bye. In the conversation that we just listened to, we heard Gauri and Karthik talking dear friends when we listen to certain names most of the times it becomes clear to us that the person we are referring to is a male or a female in this unit we are going to learn more about genders a noun that denotes a male is said to be of the masculine gender for example grandfather sir son in law etc a noun that denotes a female is said to be of the feminine gender example grandmother madam mother in law etc let us look at the masculine and feminine gender of some commonly used nouns please repeat after me landlord landlady gentleman gentlewoman waiter waitress bridegroom bride king queen poet poetess emperor empress master mistress in the conversation we heard we saw that karthik and ayush are bankers and gauri is a media person we know that words banker and media person are also nouns but which gender do these words denote the masculine or feminine gender well such nouns that are used for both males and females are called common gender nouns example please repeat the examples after me parent child friend enemy cousin student teacher neighbor traveler scientist etc then what gender do we call things that do not have life like cafeteria coffee office visiting card computer station train tree paper table etc we call them neuter gender yes neuter gender is used to refer to the things that do not have life in the recent times a new kind of language has come into usage it includes gender neutral words what are gender neutral words well gender neutral words are nouns 
that was suitable for both men and women equally. They were used to avoid discrimination on the basis of gender. It redefines the stereotypes held by the society that some social roles are suitable for men or women alone. Some popular gender neutral words are Please repeat after me Police officer Flight attendant Chairperson Actor Firefighter Salesperson Housekeeper Etc. Do you know the difference between common gender and gender neutral words? Let's understand this with an example. The word police officer is a gender neutral word because there is a different word for each of the male and female genders that is policemen and policewomen respectively. But the usage of these words is avoided because we don't want this role to be defined by any particular gender and hence we use police officer instead. Let us recapitulate to see what we have learned in this module. We did a listening practice. We understood the masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender and neuter gender. We also learned the meaning of gender neutral words. Thank you.